believe. Well, that and I'm not they, saying that to, sh- to shame you, by the way. No. It's just like if if like you're she's training for a fitness competition, right? So she's dedicated. She's committed. She's setting herself up for success by packing protein snacks, by mm-hmm. hydrating, by training. So right. if, if you are going to have the belief and share that belief of I'm a Christian and I'm waiting until marriage, then you have to set yourself up for success by not drinking with someone that you're attracted to right. that you don't want to. Does that make sense? No, it's true. But that belief became stronger after him. So I didn't express those things with Mm -hmm. him. I wasn't already like, well, I'm Christian. I'm waiting till marriage. And I think that's why I was so easily to fall into temptation because I didn't have those strong values as I do. Okay, that's where we have. So 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 after that situation. It made it sound like after past long relationships, you made that decision. You didn't make that decision until two months ago. No, it was definitely after Arizona. (laughs) We're going to call him Arizona. There it is. Um, um, that I was like, okay, I definitely need to be stronger in my discipline, my beliefs, and um, because I just don't want to do that anymore. Uh, yeah. Okay. okay, I'm sorry. No, you're fine. But we Bruh, this, this sounds me, like coke. Okay, when, this sounds like to coke. me, it seems like like yeah, you uh, made a mistake, but it might mm-hmm. almost be better to pursue a man and to be your husband After if you, you made the mistake with him. Like, yeah. I don't know if that makes sense. Instead like, of push it away, so now you just added a body and you also don't yeah. want to marry this person. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know if we're getting the whole story here. <laughs> What's missing? Okay, so you guys, ha- you, went, you went to Arizona or he came here? No, he came to LA. <laughs> he came to LA. How long <laughs> was he in LA for? Um, he was only here for a couple of days. He was like on some break from school. Okay, so you guys hook up. Yeah. And then... It was like about three days. Do you guys hang out after you hook up? Or yeah. Okay, and everything's good, or yeah, you only hook up once or a couple times. It was only once. On one the first time. day or on the last? Yeah. No, in between. It, in the yeah. only second. <laughs> Very detailed. <laughs> wait, you only hooked. Wait, so you hooked up once or multiple times? No, it was only once. One time. Okay, and so how did? I mean, you guys both told each other you liked each other, right? Right. What did he tell you in terms of what he was looking for? He wanted to keep seeing you. Um, well, no, like we definitely did keep talking, but it was, I think we were both mutually like, oh, it it felt kind of uncomfortable. I don't know, like. Wait, it felt uncomfortable, mutually uncomfortable. But didn't you say that you didn't express this whole waiting until marriage thing and that you're a Christian? Right. Is he a Christian? Um, well, his family is. I'm not sure if he is specifically. So how, I mean, I assume like he you guys had sex why would he also be uncomfortable that you guys had sex this seems to be he was uncomfortable because she was uncomfortable well sure that's fair Mm -hmm. but i don't think because i we we had like a discussion about it and i told him like you know what i i feel wrong about this i do feel yeah uncomfortable about it and i just we kind of agreed to stop talking after that and um so you stopped talking because you had the sex? Yeah. Then why did... Because but then we all... But then after some time, we did talk about it again, and we, you know, we were on good terms. Well, were you ever on bad terms? I guess in that period where I told him, like, I, I don't want to talk anymore, and, and we stopped talking. Was that before he left back to Arizona or after? No, that was after. Mm. So that brings me back. Was it in the beginning or was it in the end? How was your interaction after you did it while you uh, were still together? So the interaction after we had sex? Yes. Were was, you still together for like two days in person? Yeah, yeah. Like we, so it was we in the were, beginning. Okay. <laughs> and uh, then how did you interact? You didn't tell him about that then after you guys did it. You waited until he got home to tell him that he was uncomfortable. How did you guys interact in person? Was it something else? Was his personality and being together what made you also uncomfortable? Like, wow, I shouldn't have done that because this guy doesn't do the same things that I feel for him over the phone as in comparison to in person or like, can we go deeper? Mm -hmm. The epiphany was definitely like after, um, no, he flew back home and we would still talk. But then after after like a while, I was like, okay, this it wasn't the right thing to do. It sunk in, and I was like, I, I, I it's not that I regret it. He's a great person, right? But um, it just it wasn't the right thing to do because I I truly want to get married and have kids someday, and I just don't want I don't want that. You don't want so my when marriage. you woke up that morning, you were like, oh, why did I do that? No, it wasn't like I woke up that morning. Like the following day, it wasn't like um, I don't know what they call it. Like 
Epiphany? Post yeah, 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 that, that. It definitely wasn't that. Like, we still yeah. got along. We, we still went out the following day. And, and we, st- yeah, but, um, but somewhere along, like, after, like, a month, I was like, okay, um, I do have, I do want to get married someday. I do want to have kids, and I just don't want it to be With that. Him. Yeah, essentially, yeah. It's okay. You know, we all make mistakes. That's why God gave you free will. Is and then sometimes maybe that's the reason why, so you can learn from those mistakes, and realize what you do and what you don't want. It's but it seems like what the girls on this side are trying to clarify mm-hmm. is: was the deal breaker that you guys hooked up? Like, is it was a deal breaker that he agreed to partake in premarital sex, or was it something else? I guess there were a lot of deal breakers. It was the premarital sex. It was long distance is difficult. Um, and then also around that time, that was like, um, yeah, that was like a year ago. And I was still, you know, we were both, he's still in school and I'm still, you know, working and stuff. So it was just, it just didn't feel right to me. And it sounded like what Brian was asking was you knew all those things beforehand because nothing actually changed about those variables of him, of him being far away or whatever, like whatever the variables are that you just listed. So it sounded like what he was asking is, if you knew all that going in, why did you still like show up and hang out? Well, I just and put I, yourself and, and put and, yourself and a, in the position to have premarital sex. Right. No, I just I just really like the guy, and sometimes when you have feelings, it just kind of stirs. It just kind of goes about a way. And again, that was before my right strong before you made the decision. Yeah. But it sounds like now you would not follow how you feel because yeah. you're determined to right. follow your beliefs, right? And to to exercise discipline beliefs. to. What? What? It's on. This is a long conversation about the same thing. <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, is it Andrew eating shit? Oh my god. <laughs> We're not getting, You're any- bored? We're not You're getting bored? anywhere but to the same point You're over bored? and over. Mm-hmm. I think we all understand. Yeah, now. yeah. Like, next. Sorry. Agreed. There's so many questions to ask. <laughs> no more premarital Damn, she's sex. Bored. She's not getting enough attention. It's You're not, not about my attention. attention. We could talk she about needs, anything. You need to be pampered. I will need say a little pampering. I did put that in my bio. Is that we. A lot of the times, one topic is like, we just oh, asked wow. her the same Dude. question. All of us asked her the same question. Every single yeah, one of us asked her like the we're same going round question. And round and with the same answer. And then we're like, mm, maybe but we can bro, simplify it a little bit. More. I don't get it. That's the, that's it. Why I, I you don't have to get it. She's not asking you to not have premarital <laughs> sex with her, she's not asking you to wait until marriage to have sex with her so it doesn't, it's it doesn't just, matter whether you get uh, it or not like there's a lot of beating cope. my face there's a lot of there's a lot of cope like. there's a lot of cope going on there's a lot of i don't believe this going on in my brain right now what it's part just, don't you believe makes it's just you just said i really really liked the guy and then we fucked and now I don't really, he really like the guy. I don't really like him. I think he's an amazing face. person. I think he didn't put it down. He's, amazing, he's an amazing person, <laughs> but, just, but I don't want to date him. Just but because I fucked somebody's him. amazing I fucked him against I'm going to marry values. them. Like, she's like, I don't want to marry him. I think everybody he's here so is amazing. amazing. I don't want to marry him. Everybody's not the one I want to marry. He's so, I, he's such a great guy. He's so amazing. But I wouldn't we do it ha- again. We fucked, even though I, it's against my values. So you're telling me you've never been with somebody. You felt like, oh... I really want to be with this person. Then you did it, and then it, you didn't want to do it no more. Something magically <laughs> Wait, changed. No, it just wasn't it. Now let's move on. Because you talking about the sex? Because yes, I'm talking, talking about the sex. Hold if you on, see an itty bitty piggy in the market, are, are you give saying that bitch a quarter you in the that's car what the until case the market. Is with her? I'm out of here. Are you here. saying that's what the case is with her? I'm not saying that because that's not what she said. She didn't say that. But in my opinion, what I got from all these questions is that's what my opinion is, is something about that felt off. About Cause if, if, if it doesn't feel good, if it doesn't feel good in your soul to have sex with somebody and you want to move on, then something about that is what's wrong because you liked him before and you don't like him after. So you're, you're saying for her it was because the sex was trash. I can't speak for her, but in my no, experience, if that's how I felt, that. then that's what it, it was. was. I, don't th- performance. I don't think it was that. I don't think it was So that. what do you think it was? <sighs> You don't understand what it was, but know, as a bro. woman, that's what I, I understood. Know. Wait, I wait. Mm-hmm. I was under the assumption that you had this strong, strong of faith prior to him. Now, yeah. mm. to clear it up, you had this, this a strong faith after yes, him. Exactly. And 
No, but that's she not. Did. But she's no saying way. that's what happened, she and so had we it were all under the presumption. So she, she had can, it before. She can have her faith, no. and then she can have. It You're can saying grow as he strength. was fucking her. No. She grew as more he faith. Was I don't know how to do it. I don't she like was like, this. "Is that how you do it, Brian?" She's like, oh, I need to really focus on God right now. No this is not it for me. Like this. Yeah. See. I don't know, bro. At, like she, no. she didn't. She didn't want to wait till marriage. And literally, as he's inside of her, that's she when was like, "Oh wait, marriage no, is what'll make this better." That it was after a couple months, after the the sex, if that's what we're calling it. <laughs> no, 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 no. But you stopped dating him immediately. No, I didn't. She said a month after. She said, "Yeah, we." Okay, so I tried. He for flew in. We hung you up said, the first day. No, but you said we, you felt bad it, about having the sex, like, I nearly. didn't say immediately. She That's, said not, she did, she literally answered my question when I asked her, was it the next day? You're just not listening. You're not paying attention. Was it attention. the next day? She said you're no, the, the next day was we after you left. We thought you had this standard, like, after yeah. your first relationship, and yeah. we were just Ooh, saying, practice realistic. what you preach. Mm -hmm. I have a question. I have a question. Right, yep. So back. if he would have stayed there in town after y'all would have done it, would you still have felt shame about it? If, if he was still well, around you? <laughs> and then she's, <laughs> yeah, she's like, I, was more, right? I mean, we're still continuing it. What can I do? <laughs> Bro. Okay, let's that was a valid on. question. I do actually hear sort of shifting gears a little bit, but it's related to this. So you're like, well, oh, what if you're as a guy you hit and the pussy's not good? Is that what you're saying? Um, Bro, hold on. First off, <laughs> pussy is like pizza. It, it's hard to mess up pizza, right? <laughs> No, because when what? you put too much <laughs> tomato sauce, <laughs> there's a different. I don't know what kind of pussy you had, Desmond. What the fuck? <laughs> Look, I'm just saying, most pussy is good pussy, right? It's but hard most to dicks mess are. up, huh? Jesus. Nearly all pussy is good pussy. I'm just Look saying. Look at Andrew's face. <laughs> yeah, earmuffs, Andrew. Earmuffs. But uh, you disagree? Yes. yes. There's so many the pussies that are not. Nice. I'm bisexual. Oh yeah. yeah so, a good, a so what kind of pussy are you talking about? <laughs> But like it's, it's also what's attached to it, <laughs> so it's like the she, oh no like, yeah 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 the, of course you know yeah like she could be a dead fish mm -hmm. she could be not you know like Bro, that you that's can, okay you for you she could be a screecher like she no. could just like Bro, if she, knows, <laughs> she Yo, just it, lays there like that and you enjoy it even if first it's, off that's so rare wait, wait, there's other ways you can, that's wait, so rare wait, first wait, off. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. I think there's Hold three, there's 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 three bisexual women in a row right now. Yeah, but <laughs> we you, are telling you that all... Do you, have a penis? do you 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 have a penis? It's different. I mean, I could put one on. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying it's like different. I have one I can strap on No, me. but... Look, uh, you, well, you don't feel it on your, on your fake you penis is what he's yeah. trying to say. <laughs> wait, so what's your point? That not all Fat labias matter. Hold on. Okay, first off, if you know what you're doing in bed and you know how to lead in the bedroom... You can take a girl who's a virgin and have great sex with her. So this idea that, no, not all pussy. Like, like, come on, bruv. If you know what you're doing as a guy, most women want the guy to take the lead anyways. So if you know what you're doing. But that doesn't mean she's always going to be receptive. All it takes, okay, all it takes for a girl to be good in bed, really, so long as the guy is capable and knows what he's doing as ha and has some degree of experience, mm -hmm. is open-mindedness and enthusiasm that's it of course if she's like fucking unenthusiastic who, that's bad in general right so so like, it doesn't necessarily about have to be about yeah. good pussy yeah, are you talking like, about the bro. feeling are you talking about the feeling well, there's, there's, about the mushy -gushy. There's, there's different <laughs> levels right there's different levels so i mean i guess there's the are you talking that's about, like, a dead skill? fish is what that's she was talking about. Like, like the actual skill, the physical vibe, pussy the energy. no like, that's what we weren't talking about look there is different there is different kinds of pussy too. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Why are you blushing? Chill out. She's all flustered. <laughs> Shut up. But that's what I'm saying. Like it's not all good. Like it's the. Hey, it's... don't throw. I know you have a thing against big labias. Okay. No, I'm not don't saying I have Don't you dare it. in hey, my presence. Doesn't don't, that mean don't there's more dare. grippage for you? Honestly. Lips that grip. Yeah. yeah. So there's nothing wrong with Hashtag the LM. Big labia right. Okay. So that's not what I'm saying. Boom. I'm saying Hashtag that BLM. you sound like a big labia hater, honestly. Yeah, stop hating. I literally like, just said I, stop I don't mind it. Yeah. Okay. Especially I, as a bisexual woman. I literally said, woman. doesn't it give you more grip? That's what I said. Anyways. But what I'm saying is, is that it's the vibe, the vibe? that the person's giving off too. <laughs> like <laughs> if you're there and you're it's penetrating, the right? And she's just laying there like this. <laughs> like a pillow. Are you into that? How, like how many times? How, how many girls have you been with? 
like probably five or six. How many have have the girls done that ever? Like two. Really, and it was two of the horrible. Chicks? Yeah. Were were they like on the fence bisexual? No. They're full blown like lesbians. They're but bi- yeah. Oh, they were bisexual. Yeah, but they were. Like, Damn, you be, you must have been fucking up in some way. No offense. They're just they were just laying there like. Well, no, because then I, I also watched them with a man, and they did the same thing, so... Damn, what kind of girls were they... I don't know, were they had a little screw loose or what? They're, you've never slept with, a, like, a, someone who wasn't enthusiastic in the bedroom? You're that lucky? <sighs> Let me think about this. He doesn't have very Let many... Uh, that's not saying, like... <laughs> a woman who acted like she was doing you a favor? Mm. Ooh. Instead of like oh. wanting to be that, you, you which know? is there, I've ha- I've been with women who have been more enthusiastic than others, but mm-hmm. overwhelmingly, I don't think I've had a girl who's just like. Mm. 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 <laughs> I can. <laughs> I've never had that shit. They never said I came. What's your longest? <laughs> yeah, you probably never. Have. No, hold up. That's not. Hold up. Hold up. No. I've never had that like encounter where you were like, "Wow, that wasn't like the best sex I've had." Like that was like pretty boring. Well, like she didn't do any work. Like she didn't. I like it. Well, hold on. Do I like it if they don't do? I don't need a girl to do work. So you just want her to lay there? No, that's not what I'm saying. You're the boring. I'm one. saying no, you're the problem. I'm not the problem. I'm saying like if. If you know how to take the lead in the bedroom, then it's like, for example, even if a girl's on top, I want to do the work. See, but there's a difference between you taking the lead. There's a difference between you taking the lead yeah. and telling her what to do and yeah. her being receptive yeah, to that. I'll boss her around. I'll boss yeah. her around. And she's going to listen to you. And then there's a difference between like just being there and she's just like doing it to do it because she's doing it. Who you fucking? What the mm. fuck? Yeah, because it's like, well, why are you having sex then? But the, if you're, you don't know that until you're in the situation, though. You know oh, what I've I mean? Had, like, like, I've so had, like, tired sex. Blacked I've out had tired yet. sex. Yeah, but yeah. that's like, different. 6 a.m. Oh, my God. So but you can just, like, okay, I mean, I guess. I just took some <laughs> I'm melatonin. I'm not saying this happens to me all the time. I took time. some melatonin, and she's like, babe, I want to fuck. I'm like, damn, I just took some fucking melatonin. Chill out. And she's like, let's, I'm like, okay, let's go. Are, are I you? literally want to see. I want to see chat right now because I want to know how many men have had sex with That's, women who are like yeah. dead fish in the bedroom. Th- there is a name for it in Japanese, actually, maguro. Like it's a, there's a whole. It's, you have it means to be tuna, like but, so deep into a relationship for that to happen, though. I feel I, I don't That's feel why. like you no. Do. You can like you <laughs> can essentially like uh, say say I'm pursuing her. It's really hot and it's great. And then once we go and we close the doors, she just lays there, and I'm just like, whoa, it's a, where like was... a pillow princess. Like she just she just, just wants to lay there, but doesn't want to do just anything. wants to receive. Oh no, I, you know I've what I think it before. is. You know what I think it is. I think it's the extroverted. Beezies that be fucking pillow princess, pillow princesses, and like, what, what's it called? Dead fish? What was Maguro. Yeah, I Maguro. Or, de- or See, dead fish. Because I, I date introverted chicks and like shy, quiet uh, chicks. Oh, they're they freaks. Out. They're fucking, they're crazy, fucking so freaks. freaks. I'm just saying. It's the introverted chicks. It's not these loud, fucking boisterous, extroverted chicks that are freaky. It's the quiet girls. Yeah. That library With chick. With the glasses and the. That yeah. the library chick's gonna rock your world. Yeah. I mean, and, but again, it's just one of those things like you don't know until you, <laughs> and I'm not saying like every, I've had a lot of great experiences with women, so I'm not saying that I find it often, but I have heard of scenarios where. What about like hygiene? Oh, I mean, yeah. That's you know, everyone should have good hygiene. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? That's like another, she, that's she another shameful, comes, like not shameful, but like down it's there? a shame because mm-hmm. you don't know until you're there. Yeah. And then you're like, (laughs) if it smells like dead fish. (laughs) I don't know how we got. I think I was just talking about pizza or something. I don't know. You said all. Yeah, I said you said it's like you can't fuck up a pizza. pizza. You definitely can. Okay. 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 Like even here's the thing, right? Even bad pizza. It's still good pizza. Like, right. It's still good. It's it's yeah. still good. Mm. I mean, you're still going to, you know. Unless there be pineapple disagrees. on it. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. Someone was going to say, I was going to ask, pineapple who likes pineapple on their, their pizza? There's, look, there's different, look, but here's the thing, though. There's also, like, some, some super, like, next level, transcendent, super saiyan level five pussy, too. Mm. That, that's where you get a comparison that can get you into trouble as a guy. That's why I actually think that, so there's a, 
this concept called alpha widow, where like once a once a girl gets with a certain, it could it could be personality, it could be the the D game, could be status, could be money. Once you get with a certain tier of dude, it's going to be hard to date like normal guys. Mm -hmm. Or once a guy knows how to hit it like just right, then you're like. You're gonna, no, I'm sad forever. You're, you're just <laughs> sad forever. Once you get with a chick who can who like comes instantly, you're it's over. I can't satisfy like, hey, any woman. Ah. It's just it's <laughs> done. You're done. Once you get with a girl who comes like has she was lying. What? She was probably lying. Nah, bro. It, once you get with a girl who comes instantly and can come like fifty times, it's you're it's over, right? How you know what I'm talking. She's boosting like that? your head. Yeah. <laughs> Have you encountered a girl like that? That can come multiple times, yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's just, it's over. Sorry, Andrew. Earmuffs. Of course. Like Sorry. I don't know. They got the Super thing. Saiyan pussy. You know what I mean? They got that gorilla grip. Mm -hmm. Well, no, it's not. What? Not about I'm that. It's a, like got that. <laughs> They're just like overly sensitive and it just like, because typically what happens when you're stimulated once initially and you orgasm, you're so sensitive and stimulated that it, it just continues to happen over, over and over and over again. Yeah. So then you compare every other girl to her? What do you mean? Are you alpha widow now, Brian? A little bit. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, you... I've... Like, you're saying it's so good, so, like, do you compare every other girl to her? Because you're saying, like, after after that, it like, it's done it's for everyone else. Exactly. It's different. You know what I mean? It's a little different. So you're saying it could be different, just it can't be bad. That's why both men and women should not be promiscuous because every time you're rolling the dice, you're playing Russian roulette, and once you land on the, the Super Saiyan pussy, <laughs> <laughs> you're just, it's, it's like you're going to compare. Oh, it's, you're, you're just going to make these comparisons, and yeah. People do that about personality as well. Yeah, that's what yeah. I'm saying. Like, once you, the person that you just vibed with the best, your first love, too, you know, a lot of people. Mm. I just think there's also room for evolution, too. You cannot have transcendent sex with someone and then have transcendent sex with them later on down the road. Why, what in the world evolution. is transcendent sex? <laughs> oh, I'm... What, what kind of Maybe one day you will join the club. <laughs> Maybe one this? day you will join the club. Son. He's married. With my I know. eyes closed. Maybe, maybe what does me being married have to do with not understanding transcendent sex? What kind what of absurd nonsense? No, that's nonsense. what we're saying. You probably do understand it because you're married. Aww. Yeah. What is, tra what is transcendent? Sex? Like it just gets better, right? It gets better the Devon more you do it. Devon Jackson donated two hundred dollars. <laughs> Interesting how the energy from these strumpets increases when it becomes a degenerate conversation. Hey, I feel like wow. it was more Yo, like Dave your Vaughan. energy. It's, hold on. <laughs> He's a brave and decent man. It. He's a pioneer. My energy? Mm -hmm. You went from being distraught to very passionate to <laughs> real quick. I don't know. She brought it up. You brought it up. A what I bit. bring up? I don't know. You're, we're talking about I just said, thing. can we move forward? We're talking. Yeah. <laughs> but then you talked about, well, maybe the sex wasn't good. I, I mean, know. yeah. I mean. Oh, here's the, here's the actual quote. It, so it goes, <laughs> sex is a lot like pizza. When it's good, it's great. When it's bad, it's, it's okay. still pretty good. I think that's the quote. Oh, no, I must have got mi mixed up a little bit. Makes you know? sense. But I, I think that applies more to men than women. Yeah. Definitely, because like, I've had bad pizza. Because here's the difference, right? <laughs> what, what, what pizza is bad pizza? And, and oh, chunky, too Tostitos, much sauce pizza. Gross. Why is there more Tostitos, sauce than cheese? Even those are okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. And hunger levels, because if you were satiated from some really good pizza, would you still go for the... Decent pizza, pizza, a hundred percent. Well, I think pizza. Mm. He, I, I do think here's the difference though, because I think, and this kind of relates to the the differential in terms of like a girl could just lay there, and like we could, through our own effort, still re mo like ninety nine percent of men could reach climax. Oh, for sure. Mm -hmm. But I would argue if a guy just laid there, could ninety nine percent of women just reach climax just Fuck through sexual no. intercourse alone i mean if you maintain that boner and you let me just use well, sure, you then some, yeah some, yeah some women yeah. but uh, oh, wow. but also uh mm -hmm. there's a higher percentage of women <sighs> that me? can't <laughs> orgasm from, from penetration yeah, than that's true you know that is true well put anyways let's move it on from from this from sounds this. like a good idea um good times good times <laughs> 
Uh, where were we? Oh, Davon Jackson. We do we have any super chats? What 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 was the thing we had to pull up, Nick? We talked about the bow, right? Nobody mm-hmm. liked the bow. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, math. We did. We already we did, did that. that. We did that. Uh, we did. We could go back to age gap we stuff, that. or we could do. Wasn't there another um, thing that came up? What's that? I thought there was another one that came up that just didn't ding. I just didn't hear it. Mm, not sure. <laughs> Let's react to the uh, desirable truth clip. I saw this. This was an interesting one. Before that, though, go to twitch.tv slash whatever. Drops a follow. Drops a prime sub, boys. Twitch.tv slash whatever. Guys, it's been, holy frick, boys. Two hours since we last had a prime. I think it's bugged. It's broke. Can, I think it's bugged, boys. Can you somebody uh, drop us a little Twitch prime in the chat? And, you know, I, I don't know what's going on. Twitch is, something's going on with our Twitch. There's something going on. So twitch.tv slash whatever drops the primes on and, and, and then also Nick, could you pull up our Spotify and Apple thing? Guys, we got yo Dur- Durin. Durin, thank you for the gifted 10 subs. Guys, go to Apple Podcasts, find our podcast, whatever pod. The link is at the very bottom of the description for this video. Drop us a five-star review, boys. And then also write a little a little review in the chat. Say something nice because we got, we got uh, review bombed by some haters. And then also on Spotify, go to Spotify. Just drop us five stars, boys, over there on Spotify. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, Nick, I'll you can pull up. The banter. Think it up, or pull it up. Let's, let's go. <laughs> All right, make it a little bigger. Oh, I saw this. Okay, go ahead. 26. 22. How long you been together? Two years. years. If she gave you a guilt-free pass to sleep with anybody, would you take it? No, sir. <laughs> you you only you might get one pass, but at the end of the day, you want one wife, and this is the wife I want. So no. Okay. Now what about you? If he gave you one? If he gave me a guilt-free pass, I would take it. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Sorry. That's who, crazy. Who would you take it with? Lindy Waters the third? Oh no. Don't even know who that is. Not the third. Yeah, That's our problem. <laughs> <laughs> yup. Yup. Who else? Um oh, Barry God. Sanders. I'm in love with oh, him. Oh no. Now, what yeah, do you everyone think who doesn't look like those him. men have over your men? Uh they're professional athletes. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Shoot. Hey. Black or white? One is Native American and one's black. But do you think that any of those guys would go for you? Uh, Junior would. That's crazy. <laughs> hey, at the end of the day, it's whatever. <laughs> whatever. At the end of the day, I don't care. How, how old are you? Yikes. Bruh, okay. She would have been with him. She would have been with the guy holding the mic at this point. He, he had his arm around her. He could have just cinched it a little bit closer, you know? Just kind of, yeah, just cinched it a little bit. But no, he didn't. Aww. I wonder, um... Is it like a lot of those kind of on the street interviews though? I, I don't know. I don't want to throw the guy under the bus. He he does a lot of those kind of clips interviews. I wonder if a lot of those are staged though. It's I mean it could be real. I don't know. I think it's real. Do you think it was real? Yeah, yeah I think so. People say there some are crazy some wild things. people. Yeah. <laughs> she had that. She had those answers yeah. ready. Mm-hmm. Is she that said, a, is oh, that I've been thinking about this breakup? question. Is that so going around the table? Is that a breakup? Is that a dump? No. Yes, but that's just me. That's just you. Okay. What, what do you think? Yeah, if I'm the guy. Right. For sure. Yeah, if you're the guy. He never yeah. loved me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and so break up. Break up. Oh, I'd be gone. Yeah. She's foreshadowing. Here's your they're free like, pass. So for Bye. me, the reasoning <laughs> is is that they're professional athletes that will probably never look twice at her. But they so she said would. that they would. They probably would, though. She was, good, she was good looking, actually. So yeah, she would take the whole team too. at once. They'd probably spend <laughs> it. <laughs> so, yeah. If you would say that in front of your dude she was on camera. He was 22, though. That was an interesting... Uh, typically, That's women. also worrisome. Just that she's 26 and thinks that way. Hmm. Yeah. Yo, bro. You I need a little advice. You need some advice... Shoot me a DM. My advice will basically say, dump her. That's it. That's crazy. That's crazy. 
He's gonna he's gonna get clowns on. He probably for the rest did. of his life. Mm -hmm. So did the girl. Like you can't. There's no recovering from that. Okay. That's why if you're ever on the street with your girl, you can't. If you're ever on the street with your girl and somebody wants to come interview you about Just dating no. shit, you can't do. It's not gonna. So go. like if. So yeah. No. 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 Wait. 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 W